Some of the most common questions I get as a mechanic are, Josh, how do I properly recharge a battery? Or how do I know when it's properly recharged if my charger doesn't have a feature that shows me that it's recharged? Another one is, what setting on the charger do I use to recharge my battery? What's up guys? It's your buddy Josh Pipka with JP Auto Fleet coming to you with another automotive repair video for the DIYer. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, I urge you to subscribe, like it, share it, comment below. If there's any videos in the future you'd like to also see, don't hesitate to put those down in the comments. All my videos come from customer questions and concerns, so I just might pick yours. Quick tip on battery chargers before we get started. Now at the shop, we use a big old bulky, bulletproof, bombproof, roll around charger. It's awesome. It's old school. It works great. For the home DIYer though, I recommend a microprocessor controlled charger. Now this charger was 89 bucks at O'Reilly's and you can get them for as low as $59. And what that means is it's going to give you a safer, quicker, more effective charge because most of them have protection built in that keep them from overcharging while maintaining the charge. This charger has a percentage feature that shows you the percentage of the charge so you can monitor the progress. It also has a voltage feature. I am in no way affiliated with this charger, I'm just a fan. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's hook up red to positive, black to negative. Okay, let's go ahead and set this thing up for charging. The first thing we're going to do is choose our battery type. Now keep in mind, a lot of chargers won't have this feature. If you've got an older or you know more basic charger, you may not have this feature. But if you do, you're going to have three choices. Standard, AGM, or gel type battery. Nine times out of ten, you're going to choose the standard battery feature. That is what is in your daily driver vehicle. AGM and gel batteries are for high performance and marine applications and deep discharge applications, such as those used in trolling motors and watercraft. So we've got the standard selected. Next thing we're going to do is select our rate of charge. How intensely we want to charge the battery. Now you've got an 85 amp engine start feature here. And most chargers will have this feature. This is for jump starting. This is not for charging. Keep that in mind. You've got a 30 amp boost feature. Now this feature right here, you can charge the battery with it, but you don't want to charge it for too long because if you're not careful and if you're not monitoring the battery, you can toast the battery. If you just want to throw it on for a couple hours and give it a quick charge, you can get away with a 30 amp. But the safest and fastest and most effective way to charge a battery is with the lowest setting. And here it's a 2 amp setting. Now it may take a little longer. It may even take overnight. But as I said, it's the safest and most effective way to charge the battery. So we're going to go ahead and select that. As you can see, the charging icon lit up and we're good to go. Now this charger, it has a cool function that shows you when the battery is completely charged and maintaining. This will illuminate green. Now, in the case that your charger does not have this function, in a second, I'm going to show you how to tell if the battery is fully charged. After letting her charge overnight, we come back and the battery is fully charged. The green icon tells me so. I also know because the voltage percentage shows 100. The voltage shows 12. And it's ready. So if your battery charger doesn't have a function on it that shows you when the battery is fully charged and ready to go, and you don't have a battery tester like this to check it with, all you have to do is check the voltage periodically throughout the charging process with a multimeter. The magic number is 12.4 to 12.6 volts. A fully charged battery sits between that range, 12.4 to 12.6. So if you hook it up and you know let it charge for four hours and come back and check the voltage and it's at 11.8 volts, well, you know you've still got some charging left to do to get it in that magic range. It's not perfect, but it will get you in the ballpark. And that's it. Too easy, right guys? Super simple stuff. Or at least I hope it's super simple now. I hope you understand how to properly recharge a battery and what some of the options are in battery chargers nowadays that can make that process a lot easier for you. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, 
Don't hesitate to share it with somebody else who might find it helpful. Click the like button, comment below, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out some of my previous videos. You guys have a good day. Josh with JP Auto Fleet out.